sorry man that uh, we late late actually i was going through some other profile and then later on i came to know that you were was scheduled at 3 be sorry for that so right time to speak right yes yeah. uh, so can you tell me about your experience and your technical stack yes yeah. so uh, i thought totally uh, about the uh i worked on the solution so as custom technology and the specific thing about here i was the project team and uh, as a trainee testing yeah. uh, after that i switched to my current company at this private thing uh, here i am working from the last one uh, two and a half years for that one half year and uh, here my role is like uh, job of full stack developer uh, where uh, um where i will uh, uh, in this company the roles and responsibilities like uh, we are the part time developers for the fresh work company uh, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, so fresh work is a product based company uh, which has their own products uh, like it you can products they have and uh, they have their own customer and uh, the customers has some specific requirements for their uh, specific uh, specific products and uh, those we will handle for those uh, customers requirements for the customer class so uh, we will directly talk with the customers i mean basically i talk with the customers i will take the requirements uh, whatever their requirements they have uh, taking the feasibility of that requirement uh, developing those uh, testing of the uh, app and uh, uh, deploying to their uh, environment so on the, on those stuff uh, done by Okay, so, yes. So, like technical stack, I would like to know like what on technical stack. Yeah. So basically, the Freshworks uh, provides us the platform feature uh, where we can develop the app. So uh, Fresh uh, uh, Fresh Dis uses the Node.js platform. They have their own uh, command line interface uh, where we can generate the structure. So I I used here uh, for their platform features. Uh, I used the Node.js, jQuery. uh javascript uh, html css uh, and uh, bootstrap for developing the app and uh, suppose some some of the requirements are like that they do their platform own support the you know, fresh was platform own support for uh, those purposes i use the um, uh, i use the middleware part means uh, like uh, java java as the uh, programming language and uh, uh, spring boot uh, framework uh, to develop the rest of it and uh, uh for the server side means uh, uh, when i deploy, when i uh, uh, develop the app uh, by using the java and spring uh, boot i i i will deploy that one on the aws server and uh, for the ui purposes i use the angular angular what's it a okay it was yeah yeah so okay, how much do you rate yourself in angular out of 10 Uh, out of them, I'll rate myself as a six. Okay. On Java? Ah, uh, Java, I'll rate as a five. Uh, I have to learn a lot of things. Mostly in the in this company, uh, I did I I worked on the Spring Boot framework where I generated uh, means uh, where where I uh, created the REST API myself and worked with the REST API. Okay. Fine. Uh, how much do you rate yeah. yourself in Spring Boot and REST? um and there i uh, give like 7 to 8 uh, so what you have done in spring boot uh, so uh, um basically i created the rest apis uh, to talk with the uh, database which the database uh, from the data and uh, talk with my fresh first platform uh, so like uh, uh, you can say uh, I'll just give, give an example. There is a one app I I created uh, for the usual industrial level university, mm-hmm. uh, where uh, the uh, fresh first platform own support. Uh, so that's why I created a uh, uh, in the in the Java I created the REST API, and uh, they have their own database the usual. So that database uh, I maintained in the my usual side. Um, uh, previously they are using the Excel sheet and uh, um, by uh, finding the Excel sheet and filling the data. but uh, now on the process uh, uh, i did it totally uh, automatically uh, so uh, there all the excel sheet data is in now in the database and uh, they can do all the cloud operations using the angular ui 
and uh, by using the risk pages i can fetch that data and uh, fill the what were the forms they have uh, so the customer will fill only the three fields all other three fields uh, filled by the me but in the data from the data so uh, mostly i work with the risk pages like create post delete and put no so stand so you are giving job for you so how do you connect uh, to db using uh, like using spring boot uh, so uh, here i use the jpa uh, for the uh, for this purpose hmm. um, i i use the uh, um, uh, i i use the dependency uh, here uh, jpa dependency right. in the application properties i provide the database name and the uh, username and password of the database uh, and then uh, with the uh, database values that by using that uh, we can connect to the database okay what all method shall we get put post and delete all yeah yeah so what is the difference between post and put uh, so post is we are using for creating a new object means uh, something new data we have to create first time then we are using that one and uh, put it for updating the existing data so what yeah. if uh, i do a new insert using put can i do that ah uh, no for put uh, no i i never did that one. no no so, i am asking can we do it or ah uh, yeah we can uh, because uh, I I think we can do it. I, I never tried, but uh, I think we can do. It. So there won't be any exception or or anything. Um, no, uh, no. Uh, see, uh, in 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 my case, what will happen? Uh, like, uh, uh, whenever I will do a post call, the ID will be generated, and for that ID, I am doing a put call. So if I am using a put call, then the uh maybe i won't get that id and because of uh, i won't get that id uh, i i can't uh, update that record so uh, i i maybe i'll get the exception from something mm, so, yeah, i i never tried this one so i'm not sure but uh, i'm try i'm thinking like this way, like the, because uh, the id i am not get so i get a uh, issue because uh, when i'm doing a put call Uh, I did with a uh, uh, single single put call. I never did with a bulk. If we are doing bulk also by using the ID or some primary key based on that one only, we will update that one. So we will get any exception. So what all you know in Java? Uh, so Java, uh, Java is an object-oriented programming language and Uh, like uh, connections interfaces um, uh, inheritance so what is inheritance uh, uh, so inheritance means we are inheriting the properties from our parent class to the child class um so uh, here like uh, uh, already predefined classes there and we want to use those uh, methods then uh, we are we are uh, extending those class and we are, we are use those Hmm. What is the yeah. keyword used to used for that? Ah, sorry. What is the keyword used for that? Extend. Okay. So coming to the what is interface? Ah, uh, inter- interface is uh, where we are defining the only the method, uh, but there there will not be any implementation. Mm-hmm. and uh, uh, we, uh, we are uh, imp- implementing both methods in the sub class mm, what will happen if i implement the method in interface uh, before the java is uh, uh, before java or java version 8.8 uh, uh, they are not at all we, we are allowed to implement their method after the java 1.8 so we can implement their default and static methods mm. uh, So yeah. which version of Java you are using? Java is one point eight. One point eight. So yeah. in Java one point eight, we can do only default or static methods inside uh, interface. Yeah. Any other methods? 
So ah. any normal method we cannot do. What will happen if I do? If I write that code? No, the, the, that one won't, won't allow it. Well, what am uh, I? I can write anything yeah. in any code, anywhere, right? Will that uh, give me a compile time error or runtime error? Hmm. Collection classes you use are at least ten. Linked hash map. Hash map is. Ah, linked. Hash set. Ah, uh, are at least the linked array list use. No, no, not not linked hash. Okay, linked wo- hash are at least ten linked hash map. Yeah. So why uh, are you I, using that linked hash map? Ah, uh, so linked hash map is like uh, uh, when I am dealing with the Freshworks API. Ah, uh, their internal. They return uh, uh, their their all the objects in the linked hash map. See the new pair they have. All the so when I am dealing with that one for fetching those values, I use the linked hash map to fetch those values. Uh, is is it like they send they are sending you the values in linked list? That's why you are using linked list, or there was any specific reason you went for linked hash map? Sorry. No, no, uh, not a specific reason because uh, in, in in my project mostly I deal with the uh, database only the fetching and reading purpose. So that time I used I went for the array uh, only for the uh, storing the data and reading the data. So the linked hash map I used because uh, they are sending me the object in in that form. So that time I used the linked hash map to read that data. Uh, how they are sending you the data like? Exactly. Uh, JSON so format or like directly a class object will come. Ah, uh, just JSON format will come. So in the JSON format, how can you define it is a linked list or normal uh, linked hash map or normal hash map? Ah, uh, when I when I debug, and uh, I get to know uh, that one that is the linked hash map key value pair. So key value pair. Ah, uh, yeah. I accept. I agree. There will be key value pair. Then it, yeah. it can be. Uh, So uh, why you you are saying that it is linked hash map only? Uh, it can be normal hash map also, right? Yeah, yes, so that that can be. But uh, uh, when I uh, keep it and I keep the watcher there, uh, then uh, I I can see that it's uh, linked hash map. Where did you, did you debug that one? Uh, in the Java STS code. Java STS. So by yeah, the yes, time so. it came to you, uh, it was coming yeah. in a JSON, right? Then it is you who has converted the JSON into normal Java object, and in the debug mode you are saying it is linked list, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the JSON was coming as key value pair. It is uh, you who decided it should be linked list, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, then why? Uh, my question is why you have decided that uh, to use as a linked hash map? Sorry. I think for the that purpose, uh, I'm uh, because I'm just reading the data and just doing one API call one more time. So that will be I'm thinking the, that will be okay. So I use that. Okay. Uh, one uh, question: like, What is the difference between linked hash map and normal hash map? Uh, so the, the linked hash map will uh, uh, we 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 can uh, I mean our whatever we are sending uh, those will be. Uh, in the in the order format, the linked hash map, the normal hash map doesn't store the order. I would say it it will be anyway. Right. Okay, fine. Yeah. And another thing is array list, right? Yeah. So I in which scenarios uh, you said you will be that? Okay, fine. Uh, um, 
any 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 idea on any other classes yeah yes yeah, uh, i uh, i work uh, uh, i have idea about uh, um the link list also and the queue uh, queue also um i i i didn't use those uh, but i have idea of uh, 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 when when how to use uh, uh, go with that because i read about those uh, no. so okay yeah. fine and uh, how did you validate your users like whether he is a authenticated user or not um so uh, basically whenever the user will uh, uh means in the uh, hsl and using like uh, whenever the he, he, he will provide me the username and password and click on login uh, i'll just make one api call to my database and uh, check that with that username uh, either i will get any uh, object or not hmm. either i can find or not then i'll i'll check the password also should be matched with that one and uh, by, by using this one i i i i did oh, oh, so you are directly using uh, the uh, storing the username and password in database yeah, yeah. Oh. there is nothing like uh, encoding or decoding uh, no uh, because this uh, yesual whole the database is from their side and uh, they are okay with that one and uh, when uh, previously we we discussed with them uh, there is no username and password for them because uh, they say it's totally internal purpose they are going to do uh, just recently i developed the base because uh, now they want only for the some uh, admin users want that one so that thing uh, so for uh, for this purpose i use the spring security uh to uh, restrict all the apis and uh, based on the role provided them and uh, here uh, while uh, doing the password uh, password thing uh, i use the uh, base uh, there is one uh, predefined class uh, where we can encrypt the password and store in the database oh but uh, the database is there right so there also you made the changes uh sorry uh, you said the database is uh, you are you are getting your database from your client right it was an existing uh, no, no. Uh-huh. the mysql database i am using but uh, the server is from their side server whatever the server once i develop the code i will send to them and uh, they will deploy on the their aws server so uh, the database uh, user name and password they provided me and uh, i'm using my god that one okay so you want uh, you want down and you know right yeah. so so can you tell me like what is the difference between like ng on init and constructor um so uh, ng on init is uh, on on the initialization it it will be called up uh, one time called up, that one and uh, whenever the first time it, it it will go loaded that time and the constructor uh, we have to call the constructor so without constructor uh, getting called uh, so we cannot call ng on init ah uh, okay, so uh, without constructor getting called uh, we cannot call it. so yeah, what that. is the purpose of constructor here then if you are initializing everything in ng on it yeah uh in the in the, in the constructor uh, we will uh, give the basically in angular in the in the, in the construction we will provide the uh, whatever the model name for service is named we will uh, provide uh, for that purpose we will create a variable there and those variables we will use for the classes to call call like uh, uh router variable is there then we will uh, define in that constructor by with of router of router so that to based on that router we will then call uh, uh, wherever we want that one, right dot router of that type so in the in the ng on it uh, uh, exactly for which method at the at the initialization load of in the initialization is particular method we have to go and uh, call call some uh, uh, api call and load the data so that time we will do that uh, based on in the, in the ng on because the first thing on the load is uh, it will be to be record okay. 
Okay, so can you tell me some differences between promise and observable? Uh, yeah, uh, observable is a uh, which we are using in uh, Angular when we when we also do the uh, 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 means the API request. Uh, here we are uh, uh, here we are using the subscribers. Uh, uh, means until and unless we use the subscribe, uh, they they will own caller. Uh, when we will do the the subscribe method, we will call. Then it will uh, uh, go to the output and. Uh, 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 promise method related means uh, uh, we just it, it 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 will do us the promise until and unless this method completes we won't go for the uh, next line uh, we can uh, uh, means uh, we can we can uh, uh, what we say uh, uh, it, it, it's it's a kind of promise that uh, once I will get the data, then I will go inside all all the things, whatever the data. Once I gain that one, those I will then I will uh, uh, do all the thing, uh, do all the methods or uh, all the uh, statements I will be doing. Okay. okay. Uh, can you tell me some uh, benefits of Angular? Uh, yeah. By by using Angular, we can. Uh, easily develop the code. Uh, it will uh, use the YMBC like uh, model to controller uh, structure also where where uh, we have the uh, uh, model method. We have the view uh, uh, where we uh, use it and do uh, all the changes and uh, 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 um, the Angular also uh, developed by the Google, so it, it, it will be very updated, uh, updated. And by using Angular, we can do uh, all the stuff we use. This Angular user interface API is there for creating the project structure, or there is also CLI also their command line interface. By using you can easily generate your project, and uh, you can add more dependency. Uh, dependency injection is very uh, simple there. By using the ng generate add, uh, you can add any dependency injection. Uh, the predefined methods and uh, models and animations are there, so you can easily use those. Uh, those are all, all, all these features are there. Now, okay. how do you bootstrap your Angular application? Uh, means, uh, starting your thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes. Uh, there are two types. Uh, one is ng start and another one is the npm start. Uh, so uh, npm start internally again uh, do the ng start command. Okay. So what will happen when we run that command? Uh, so uh, whenever we will do the ng start, uh, it, uh, um, it will compile our code. Uh, it will go to the first uh, index.html page. Uh, mm. In the uh, from index.html, we will um, call the app app to some selector one. Uh, from there, it will go to app root. In the uh, from the app root, if we called in your different model or uh, whichever component we called it, it, it will go to those components. Okay. Uh, any any idea about lazy loading? Uh, uh, I just uh, read about that one, but uh, I don't know. Ah, okay. Now, what is the lazy loading? Uh, lazy loading means it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it, it will be load very slow. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Means I read that one, but I'm not remembering it. No, okay. So, from uh, Can you uh, tell us few differences between Angular and Node.js? Okay, what is Node.js? Yeah, no, Node, Node.js is a platform where we will develop the, our, our code. Uh, it, it will provide us the structure. Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, Angular, we need a Node. Uh, mm -hmm. The NPM version we need and uh, all, all these things we need. Mm -hmm. uh, there also. Uh, the distinguishing is uh, the, no, the Node.js purpose is uh, we will use for the uh, complex development also we will use the Node.js and it's a backend language mm -hmm. and uh, 
uh, angular is the front end language where we can uh, uh, show the user for what what the features they want and we can write uh, behind all the server side code in the node case okay uh, so one question like uh, you are using jpa right yes okay okay you are not using anything like hibernate or any other only jpa used yeah yes i i use that okay mm. i'm going to okay. okay oh how do you test uh, your uh, services um so by using the postman um okay. is, is it working or not any other way we can test uh there is like uh, google also provide us uh, like uh, advanced uh, uh, adm or something uh, advanced uh, re- response uh, one one the adm or something is there i am not remember a get to form but uh, that one also there and uh, post bin is there request bin also there so by using those stuff uh, we can check uh, mm-hmm. either is what how many people are there in your uh, uh, team uh 10 people 10 people all developers yeah. uh it are developer uh, to our kind of tester plus developer so you follow agile or any waterfall model uh no here uh, basically uh, uh, we will do the integration stuff so uh, uh, here, here is like uh, no agile model or something uh, from the uh, uh, all all the developers will do their uh, own own projects and uh, they will work on Okay. So, so do you interact with your clients? Yeah, yeah. So how frequently you interact with your clients? Uh, you can say daily basis. Daily basis one call I, I will have with the client. Either the client or with the fresh host team. And uh, uh, we will take the requirements from the client. uh with the client uh, uh once we will take the requirement uh, most of uh, after that we will talk with the fresh work uh, that also our client on the fresh work mm-hmm. but uh, with those people uh, if we have any dice they, those people uh, the, with those people we will then uh, deal with those people and uh, they will clarify us. Mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. one or two times uh, with, uh, first time when when we are gathering the requirements first time we will directly have the call with the client and uh, when we are giving the demo that time uh, uh, we, we will have the call mm-hmm. uh, have you written j unit uh no the unit test case that is no not written we people don't write that one uh no uh those very big projects are not there and mostly we will uh, uh, test uh, our, our test cases so no okay 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 actually that was from my end so that was nice talking to you thanks for your time yeah okay thank you, thank you.